and uh, today we are covering the second last penultimate part, which is Sakyam. So after this, only the last one is left, Atmani Vedanam, for which some very special devotees coming to present and conclude it. So this has been a very, very good series, very, very well thought of. And uh, best part of it has been that, uh, you know, a lot of devotees came from other locations of uh, ISKCON and presented to us. So today uh, we will look at the Dasyam aspect. Sorry, Sakyam aspect. Okay. So I'll tell you why I'm saying Dasyam aspect. Huh? So Sakyam is, Sakyam is a very, very easy topic amongst all these nine, right? It is so easy that I tried to exchange this topic with three other speakers. And two of them actually agreed also very mercifully. But because of dates and sequence, again it came back to me. So why everybody is uh, afraid of talking on Sakyam? Any idea? Correct. So our constitutional position is we are we are the eternal servants of the Lord, right? So when somebody says become friend with the Supreme Lord, we feel very afraid. Uh, even the person who is quoted the most, Arjuna, uh, as the prime example of Sakyam, he also demotes himself to the same platform when he sees the universal form of the Lord. But uh, with the guidance of some senior devotees, Nilambri Mataji, Achyut Prabhuji and many other uh, senior devotees, I was prepared for this and let's see how it goes. Uh, let's from the heart pray to Srila Prabhupada to uh, empower this kind of a discussion. So today's Devotee congregation is dedicated to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedant, Swami Prabhupada, Founder Acharya of ISKCON. So please chant loudly with me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudirai Nast Praeshu Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavat Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nastiki We pay obeisances to Srimad Bhagavatam and we will start with uh, Pram mantras from the heart so that uh, Acharyas can and Sri Krishna can empower discussion on a very beautiful topic called Sakyam. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasme Shri Guru Venamaham Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vande Ham Shri Guru Sheyuta Padkamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Cha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadhavetam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sayagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamcha 
हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौर तुषे नम वाचा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु च पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादिगौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातरिणे मूक कौति वाचा पंगुलंगे गिरी यत्पा तम हम वंदे श्रीगुरु दीन तारिण हरि तत्सत मूक कौति वाचा पंगु लंगे गिरी This means, with the blessings of the Lord, Mukam, somebody who is dumb, also does vachalam, also starts speaking. Pangum langhi te girim. Girim means mountain. Pangu means handicap. So pangu can also cross mountains. So that is what we are trying to do today with the blessings of Shri Prabhupad. So we'll start with. Navada Bhakti, nine limbs of devotional service. These nine limbs come from Shrimad Bhagavatam, seventh canto, fifth chapter, twenty-three and twenty-four, where Pralad Maharaj says to Hirana Kashipu. So Hirana Kashipu he has called the teachers of Pralad Maharaj and is asking, who is teaching my kid all this? We are supposed to be staunch enemies of Vishnu. who is teaching all this gyan and love for vishnu to my child okay and uh, pralad maharaj then is replying so firstly the teacher say sorry we are not the ones we did not teach him any of these things we don't know where he has learnt it right so pralad maharaj had learnt it from the womb of his mother right and the teachings of his spiritual master shri narad ji right and then he is replying you know uh, how to approach vishnu right how we can do bhakti and he is talking about these nine ways pralad maharaj said hearing and chanting about the transcendental holy name form qualities paraphernalia and past times of lord vishnu remembering them serving the lotus feet of the lord offering the lord respectful worship with 16 types of paraphernalia offering prayers to the lord becoming his servant considering the lord one's best friend and surrendering everything unto him in other words serving him with the body mind and words these nine processes are accepted as pure devotional service one who has dedicated his life to the service of krishna through these nine methods should be understood to be the most learned person for he has acquired the complete knowledge so so who is the most learned person who is the most intelligent person somebody who has perfected the nine limbs of devotional service krishna says bhaktya mam abhi janati yavan yas chashmi tatvatah so from tatva if somebody knows me or can know me it's only through भक्त्या माम अभी जान आती थ्रू भक्ति ओनली सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू नो कृष्णा ओनली वे इज भक्ति 
we can not know krishna through analytical studies or speculative you know mental speculation or mystic meditation right so if we want to know about krishna we approach not a phd a bhakta of krishna and who is one of the greatest examples of bhaktas pralad maharaj so the eight the seven limbs that we have already completed hearing or shravanam the prime example is maharaj parikshit because for seven days continuously constantly he heard shrimad bhagavatam one extreme example right there are no lunch breaks there is no dinner break there is no sleeping break continuously for seven days chanting kirtanam sukhdev goswami who spoke it continuously right best example of kirtanam remembering vishnu smaranam again pralad maharaj how how uh, uh, for vishnu smaranam pralad maharaj is the biggest example we'll come back to it later also so if you want to see who is the extreme example of something some some particular aspect where do we look we look at the extreme situation that person was put into right so pralad maharaj was put into extreme position near death situations where anybody will forget but he remembered that is why he is the prime example of vishnu smaranam then serving the lotus feet lakshmi goddess is the biggest example dt worship maharaj prithu right who used all his royal possessions all his paraphernalia to serve the lord dt worship uh, 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 archanam uh, uh, maharaj prithu and then comes the praying akrura's prayers are considered to be one of the most uh, uh, you know uh, most uh, most uh, heart touching prayers right when he is going to vrindavan right so that is why his prayers are repeated and learned learnt by the devotees and serving uh, uh, serving in the dasyam platform hanuman ji we studied this in the last class so many examples we looked at how hanuman ji is the perfect example of serving the lord in the dasyam platform and then comes sakhyam for sakhyam also there are multiple examples but the prime example that is quoted is of arjuna right uh, here also there are multiple dynamics and we'll use arjuna's example in various uh, parts of our discussion today and then we'll come complete surrender where we'll talk about bali maharaj right so we start with a very special shloka from bhagavad gita where krishna has shown the universal form to arjuna right and uh, after seeing that form he is totally scared and you know totally bewildered but after that he says thinking of you as my friend i have rashly addressed you o krishna o yadava o my friend not knowing your glories please forgive whatever i may have done in madness or in love i have dishonored you many times jesting as we relaxed lay on the same bed or sat or ate together sometimes alone and sometimes in in front of many friends oh in fallible one please excuse me for all those offenses so even before we thought of going into a sakyam platform with the lord here is the disclaimer right coming straight from bhagavad gita and actually this is the it's this disclaimer that scares people from talking on this topic right that even a person like arjuna arjuna was not a common person like us right he could control the wind with his arrows right he had so much powers he had so much control over his senses that you know he is another example for that he is bewildered and you know he is demoting himself from sakhyam to dasyam here okay from friend to servant he is becoming and he is asking for forgiveness so uh, why do we think you know why are we not able to relate to this topic uh, because we don't understand it and uh, having said that another view that, that you know uh, takes away our fear of this topic is that dasyam will remain our primary position whichever stage of bhakti we go 
even tomorrow if we go into bhava or prema still we will be the servants of the lord those who attended uh, uh, thursday class guruvar katha uh, nilamri mata ji explained it very well right she has given examples of the wives of shri krishna when they are getting introduced to draupadi draupadi asking them you know tell me your story right and each of them in, is coming and saying this is the way lord you know uh, got my hand he picked me from you know the amongst all the servant all the kings and you know uh, he fought for me but now only wish i have is to serve his lotus feet and trying to become his servant even the examples of nand maharaj and vasudev right uh, vasudev ji goes so much at length on this that uh, shri krishna had to stop him and you know bring back to him that you know please come to that father son love because he went on speaking so much of krishna as the supreme personality of god and so whichever platform we go and this is our situation right now right in the spiritual world our position might be something else right shri prabhupad might be amongst the gopas right now you know uh, um, uh, cooperating with krishna in his leelas right but whichever position or whichever level we go in the spiritual world our primary position will remain to be dasyam right now we'll see the aspects of sakhyam okay where uh, what are the things that of sakhyam that you know can be brought into serving the lord okay so uh, in in nectar of devotion there is a very good description of this right uh, here sakhyam or devotional service as a friend is divided into two parts one is vishwas and other is maitri right so vishwas means having firm faith that lord krishna is our well wisher right and maitri is when we try to share the, krishna's anxieties when we try to become the well wisher of krishna so these are the two aspects we'll discuss them in detail uh, please keep asking questions and participate let's not make it a very very theoretically heavy discussion okay because we are discussing a very sweet parts on uh, sakhyam uh, so shila bhakti vinod thakura says jay jay gaur chandra jay kripa sindhu jay jay sachi sut jay din bandhu right so din bandhu is being and who is being addressed as din bandhu here chaitanya mahaprabhu right and why is chaitanya mahaprabhu address so much as din bandhu in chaitanya charitamrita because he has taken this avatara for delivering souls like us right as a benefactor to us uh, translation of this reads all glories to shri shri gaur hari who is the ocean of mercy all glories turn to you the son of sachi devi for you are the only friend of fallen soul the only friend okay now which aspects of friendship are coming here we will look at this later again uh, uh, in a beautiful song called jeeva jago jeeva jago which we keep hearing where lord goranga is calling us and he saying tumhare loyte ami hoy no avatara ami bina bandhu ara ke ache tumhara i have descended just to save you other than myself you have no friend in this world so is it we have no other friend besides krishna we have material friends right krishna devotees hari bol so krishna's devotees also sent by krishna as you know part of his friendship with us but at the material level do we have any friends hmm? we have lots of them you know uh, more than 1000 contacts on linkedin you know uh, uh, but you know that is like the lowest level then higher level who are there with us in good and bad times right in office right our school friends and so on and our so called friend circle right 
So what are the dynamics of this friend circle? We'll come to later. Come to it later. But for now, uh, Sri uh, Lord Gauranga is saying, other than myself, you have no friend in this world, right? So this line of uh, my devotee never perishes, okay? Uh, in Bhagavad Gita ninth chapter thirty one, the statement is there. Now this statement is used by Draupadi when uh, she is talking to Krishna in the end and saying, "We went through so many tribulations. Like you know, if you think uh, devotees will have all, uh, you know." Hunky dory times, it's not that. Devotees also go through a lot of tribulations. And especially Pandavas and Draupadi, they have to go through such extreme situations. And then she is telling Krishna, because you say my devotee never perishes, thinking of that, I kept my life breath going. Right? So even she was facing the situations herself, just this firm belief, this is. Touching the first aspect, Vishwas aspect, which Rupa Goswami has mentioned earlier. Vishwas aspect, how it helps us? Having Vishwas, it keeps us going that Krishna says, my devotee will never perish. Another aspect of friendship is, we just sang, Shri Guru Karuna Sindhu, Adhama Janara Bandhu. So I am very, very poor. And who is the friend of the poor? Guru Maharaj. Who is? representative of Krishna for us. And why we are poor? Because we lack love for Krishna. Okay. So, we will come to the topic of friendship. Okay. So, what are the qualities of a good friend? And uh, what are the dynamics of friendship? Okay. So, think of five of your friends. Okay. Or say three of top three of your friends. What are the dynamics that keep you, keep you connected to them? If you you are trying to think, oh, this one is my best of three. This is the best friend. This is the best friend. You are comparing these three in your mind. What are the things coming to your mind? Who are our material friends? Number one, driven by some motive, ego, right? We, we feed their ego, they feed our ego, right? Then, are they real well-wishers? Few are there, right? Are they eternal? No, right? Are they trustworthy? Some of them. Okay. Give and take. Are they loyal? Some are there. Right? Do they share your anxieties? Do they know what you need? Okay. Okay. So answer is somewhat, some do to some extent. This is the answer, right? One big glue that keeps us together is us versus them. Okay. So some of us are from the same company like, you know, Amitabh Prabhu, myself, Viraj Prabhu, we are from TCS. Some of Prabhuji's hair are our competitors. <laughs> one senior devotee I met in one of the ACS function, he turned out to be my client. So, oh, Prabhuji, you are my client. You know, I hope uh, we are serving you well. He said, you better serve Prashadam well. <laughs> right? So, what your office does, uh, TCS, I don't want to give you feedback here. I'll do that in the conference call in front of everybody. Right? So, when we go on lunch break in office or we walk around, it is our company people. We don't interact much with the competitors, right? It's us versus them. In college, in office, in school, everywhere it was us versus them. Our society, their society, right? Bengali, Kannadiga, Tamil, right? Us versus them binds us. Today, you might be thinking this friend is very close to me, but why did he become your friend? Because you got into some group with that person. My class, my region, my state, my language. This is how you came together and that is what binds you together. Now, let's get into the spiritual realm of friendship. 
okay let's compare the same qualities best and genuine well wisher come into your spiritual uh, platform now and think who really is your best and genuine well wisher amongst like amongst people here in the material world who do you thank the most for giving you you know something most valuable they gave you parents yes then guru guru yes people who brought you into krishna consciousness even the people who showed you the way to iskon you know either kora because it's difficult to come you know tell uh, taxi bar so guided you this is the way right best and genuine well wishers right when they will, they will be tested when when is this quality tested when the interest clash right that is where you are a genuine well wisher or not when your loyalties are challenged right you join the other party other group right mayavadis right that is where you are whether you are genuine well wisher or not is counted shares your anxiety do we share our anxiety do we tell our problems at a spiritual level this is where i need help this is where you know i need to improve right accepting never leaves us this is one quality that a material friend can never have because even if he is having all other 10 qualities one day he will leave us if it's it's the like extreme level then only he will leave at the time of death many others leave before that itself non envious have you never envied your friend or your friend has never envied you it's, it's in the nature right somewhere that envy comes in loyal exclusivity knows what you need selfless trustworthy constant desire to stay in his company right always wanting to see or enjoy the conversations or hear the name of that person now come to the third level which is the highest level of friendship that we have towards the supreme personality of godhead and krishna has towards us okay and for that let's see whether we can call this relationship as friends okay so the qualities of friends best and genuine well wisher is krishna that right suhridam sarva bhuta naam he says right are we the genuine well wishers of krishna we'll check that later okay does krishna share our anxiety mata ji saying no no mata ji okay does share but still we have anxiety will come to that why we still have okay uh, accepting never leaves us eternally you know whichever body we take life after life krishna doesn't say this bhagavad gita is applicable only to arjuna or to human beings right never leaves us this is the quality that only krishna has non envious why would he envy us but on the relationship is two way right do we envy krishna yes or no 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 good you have stopped envying but you did you envy earlier that is why we were sent here for specialist treatment here huh are we loyal to krishna sarva dharman paritejya do we do that right sarva dharman doesn't mean dharma like you know it's used in a common place language christianity islam i have left that so i become loyal sarva dharman means dharma as a pita dharma office dharma putra dharma right raj dharma above that knows what you need do we know what krishna needs okay we'll come to that just after this slide does krishna know what we need how can you quote something as a parmatma he is sitting in our hearts right 
then correct whatever they have i preserve it and i give them what they don't have and also the dami buddhi yogam tam beautiful shloka right we'll come to that also all these will come in cover in detail uh selfless trustworthy will come to these qualities later so let's look at best and genuine well wisher so what is sakhyam a devotee who considers krishna as his only friend if there is any term that is closest is synonym to friend is well wisher okay so somebody who thinks krishna is my best well wisher he is the person who is at sakhyam platform right only when one realizes this eternal friendship in the core of their heart then only they can be peaceful how they will become peaceful krishna says in bhagavad gita 5th chapter bhoktaram yagya tapsam sarvalok maheshwaram सुहृदम सर्वभूतानाम ज्ञात्वा माम शांतिम ऋक्षति हु एवर नोज दिस अटेन्स पीस दैट सुहृदम सर्वभूतानाम राइट सो टेकिंग ए मटीरियल एग्जाम्पल सपोज योर किड्स आर प्लेइंग एंड दे नो दैट माई पेरेंट विल बी जस्ट टू अस यू नो पापा इज द रेफरी टूडे and he will not do partiality to the other my brother or sister ha huh? they will play very peacefully right but suppose they get this doubt in their mind that you know papa is partial towards my brother they will lack all the peace right or third person is there not parent now they don't trust that person teacher is there okay sometime teacher is very nice sometime teacher is giving some beatings also now if the student doesn't believe that this teacher is doing all for my good how much anxiety will be there right but if we know that whatever is krishna doing suridam sarvabhutanam he is very very uh, he is a benefactor and well wisher a person in full consciousness of me knowing me to be the ultimate beneficiary of all sacrifices and austerities the supreme lord of all planets and demigods and the benefactor and well wisher of all living entities attains peace from the pangs of material miseries right so the problems will not end right miseries will will be there but we will not become miserable right because our firm faith will be there by our side right now next comes if krishna is suridam sarbhuta naam is benefactor and well wisher what about us see each quality we will judge from both sides ha huh? whether krishna is showing towards us and or are we also showing that quality right now how do we reciprocate to krishna friendship means reciprocation one needs to think how can i please him what does krishna want from me sakhyam means being a well wisher of krishna krishna wants everyone to surrender unto him because everyone is constitutionally his servant so says shilar prabhupad in a lecture okay janeva 1974 second year okay so how can we become well wishers of krishna krishna has given us so many things right what all he has given us that we are grateful to him for mata ji mentioned parents through parents what did he give us human life right what else we were discussing it in one earlier class right what else health good health so that we can practice bhakti right then education education okay guru to know about guru okay very lucky are the ones who get a guru right then association of devotees, association of devotees right then material friends some genuine material friends okay 
genuine material friends also okay scriptures bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam right and all scriptures we are grateful for what else devotees look to your left look to your left he gave us prabhupad right then what else hari krishna mahamantra the greatest benediction after 10 things uh, including material friends now i am hearing mahamantra right so mahamantra is the greatest thing he gave us then he gave us holy dhams and then where did he show great mercy on us all the avataras right so why does he take avataras why does he come come into the material world to amongst us to deliver the fallen souls right so much no so what have we given to krishna yeah i heard 10 things you know he gave at least one you tell me what have we given to krishna hmm? what prabhu anxiety we have given to krishna no see we will go back to qualities of friendships now so you know our score card compared to krishna is i think we need to pass no see one one sided relationship how will this become sakyam sakya ha huh? okay what can we give to krishna time is it our time Uh, he only is given it's his energy right but yes if we give our time to him at least something we can do what else our bhakti and shravan we can teach to krishna yes yes ma'am giving us air water we can breathe at least correct correct he is giving everything to us yes we can use all our senses in his service right we have the choice and uh, only those are that is the real use of senses right which are used in the service of the lord what else can we give yes so what is it uh, we can give so many things okay from our offering we can offer so many things right krishna asks for offering sir okay what he says is firstly he says पत्र पुष्प फल तो योम भक्त प्रयचति ओके पत्र पुष्प फल तो सो यू थिंक इट्स वेरी इजी हा वेरी नेक्स्ट श्लोक इज योषि यदशनासी युहोसी दासी यश्यसी कौन थे तत्कुरुष्व मदर्पण वट एवर यू डू वट एवर यू ईट राइट वट एवर यू गिव इन चैरिटीज वट एवर ऑस्टेरिटी यू परफॉर्म डू इट इज एन ऑफरिंग टू मी राइट right? अब क्या रह गया इलिस्टेड एवरीथिंग राइट इवन इफ आई एम डूइंग सम हार्ड तपस्या आई हैव टू डू इट एज एन ऑफरिंग टू हिम राइट बट ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट वी ईट वी यू नो ऑफर भोगा बट चैरिटीज वी गिव ऑस्टेरिटीज वी डू डज कृष्णा नीड ऑल दिस so what is it that krishna needs from us which we are not giving and he desperately needs he doesn't have that this but what is that thing that he the creator of all the universes does not have something we have it and we are so kanjus right kripana we are not giving it to him what is it that krishna does not have we have it and we are not giving to him it is our heart krishna does not have our heart and he desperately wants it now you'll say so many of us how many hearts is waiting he is worried about each and every soul like you know in uh, bhagavatam there are stories not just of 100 children but you look at um, 
daksha and uh, such personality they have thousands of children so they will lose count and if one kid dies they will not cry so krishna is loving all of us and he is wanting our heart from each and every one of us now what is it that we can do about it one is we give our heart in the first place what does it mean how can we give our heart to krishna through our services right when we say uh, that prabhu ji has put his heart into book distribution right that means with full heart they are doing this what else can that is first step that giving our heart to krishna but what did krishna say <coughs> or prabhupada is saying here krishna wants everyone to surrender unto him because everyone is constitutionally servant so he is not saying i want a heart only of yogesh prabhu or viraj prabhu right he wants everyone's heart okay so if we are his well wishers go back to those qualities if we are his genuine well wisher and if we share his anxiety what will we do will help him in this what he wants no he wants all the hearts no so let's gather those hearts and offer to him how do we do that from shrimad bhagavatam 7th canto 5th chapter 23 24 what can i do for krishna how can i in in my insignificant capacity share the anxiety of krishna therefore as a service as a sincere friend of krishna one should preach this philosophy requesting everyone to surrender to krishna right so if we are taking this anxiety proactively thinking this so today we know what krishna wants right in more clearer terms we want here are more clearer terms from chaitanya charitamrit uh, adi lila 9.32 alokya vriksha kare sarvendriya karma sthavara haiya dhare jagan mera dharma since the tree of devotional service is transcendental every one of its parts can perform the action of all the others although a tree is supposed to be immovable this tree is nevertheless it moves right so chaitanya mahaprabhu is talking about the tree of bhakti right and then next he says it would certainly be very laborious task to pick the fruits and distribute them alone and i still suspect that some would receive them and others would not right so the third aspect of third quality that is very very difficult which is knowing the anxiety and knowing what uh, my friend wants krishna in the avatara ay chaitanya mahaprabhu is making it easy stating it very clear terms in his words and is in actions that i want to distribute the fruits of devotion to everyone but can i do it alone it is very very laborious task right i am the only gardener how many places can i go how many fruits can i pick and distribute and in the purport it's mentioned the uh, here shichetana mahaprabhu indicate that distribution of hare krishna maha mantra should be performed by combined forces right this indicates that all classes of devotees should combine to distribute hare krishna maha mantra without consideration of time place and situation i am the only gardener how many places can i go who is lamenting like this supreme personality of god and i am alone where all will i go how will i do it alone strange no supreme personality of god is lamenting i am alone what is it that he can't do in a moment he can place bhakti in the hearts of all the living beings so why is he expecting us to do this for him does he can he really not do all in on on his own he can right so why is asking us out of the free will that is a very important aspect free will right 
he has given free will to us and everybody just like we said our heart he wants same way uh, he wants everybody to surrender to him on his own or at the through the cooperation of devotees so uh, another example of this is he is telling arjuna is that all these people you are worried about no they are already killed by me okay don't worry that you are going to kill uh, dronacharya or uh, you know all the elders right bishan pitama and everybody now what you do is just go and fight and win this and get the glory so krishna wants us to act and get the glory for what he has already achieved right also another aspect is when we distribute maha mantra we get it firmly in our own heart also right that is what he is saying here he is saying therefore i order every man within this universe to accept this krishna consciousness movement and distribute it everywhere okay and in the end he is saying the series of eight verses last one he says if the fruits are distributed all over the world my reputation chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying my reputation as a pious man will be known everywhere and thus all people will glorify my name with great pleasure who talks like this at what level do you talk like this no help me i am alone right if you do this you know people will think of me as a pious person right they will glorify my name with great pleasure you talk like this to a friend right you not talk to any other relationship like this right so he is himself saying that do this for me right and on uh, how we can reciprocate to krishna and how krishna is reciprocating to us okay both aspects come beautifully in this verse very very famous verse chant with me sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam vraja aham tam sarva papebhyo मोक्षा श्यामी मा शुच बोध गिव एंड टेक आर देर इन दिस राइट फर्स्टली ही इज ऑर्डरिंग वट ही वॉन्ट्स वेरी वेरी क्लियरली दिस श्लोक आर टेस्ट बोथ द थिंग्स वट आई वॉन्ट एंड वट यू विल गेट ओके लीव ऑल ड्यूटीज your duty as this and duty as that this all these identities are because of your body your duty as a father duty as a warrior duty as a kshatriya duty as a son as a student or a disciple they are all attached to arjuna in the this body leave all those dharmas and surrender unto me then he is saying what i will give you i'll deliver you from all sinful reactions do not fear right so both give and take are there right you surrender unto me and i so why he is talking about delivering uh, or delivering from sinful reaction because arjuna is saying there is so much sin in this war will be killing millions of people right what will happen to, to their families so he is saying don't worry about this i'll deliver you from all your sins right now again coming about talking about give and take so when when we are saying krishna has given us so much when the, we talk about six aspects of preeti lakshanam right in uh, uh, nectar of instruction first thing that comes is first word is dadati okay dadati prah, uh, dadati prati grahanati guhyam akhati prichyati bhukte bojate cha sad षडविदम प्रीति लक्षण तो सिक्स आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ प्रीति फर्स्ट वन इज ददाति व्हाट इज इट दैट वी कैन गिव एंड वी आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग व्हाट वी कैन गिव वी कैन गिव टू थिंग्स वन इज आर हार्ट एंड आर सर्विसेज टू 
our service is to bring other hearts in the association of krishna right then what does krishna give beyond giving himself to us he is also giving us the way to achieve him right he is saying tesham satatyuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yen ma bhumi upyantite so i'll give myself to my devotees but how they will get me also i will give buddhi yogam also i will give see how generous so if we tell our friend that i'll give you this and also deliver at your home or this i'll tell you the way also see how generous right so he's saying i'll and this is very very this shloka is very very uh, has positive vibes because it gives a lot of hope when we say oh we lack in buddhi yogam krishna says i'll give you that also right now there is another aspect where chaitanya mahaprabhu is telling nityananda prabhu while they are separating that do not come to jagannath puri every year but stay in bengal and fulfill my desire okay this is another aspect of sakhyam right he is saying that my association physical association is not you know what you should seek you stay where you can serve best do not come to jagannath puri every year now and nityananda prabhu agrees immediately right two way thing right he is not saying lamenting oh how will i live without you of course it's very difficult for him to live without you but he is agreeing to this and in the purport of this uh, the mission of sri uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu is to spread the only medicine effective in his fallen age of kali the chanting of hare krishna maha mantra let's chant this once hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare following the orders of his mother shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was residing in jagannath puri and the devotees were coming to see him however lord felt that this message must be spread very elaborately in bengal and in his absence there was not a second person capable of doing it so that is why he is telling nityananda prabhu to stay back there because he had come on the orders of his mother right so that you know he is not very far also from mayapur and you know not going to vrindavan also this was the position agreed between sachi mata and Uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu that he'll stay in jagannath but every you know all the devotees are coming over there to meet him and then he tells his close associate nityananda prabhu that you stay there consequently lord requested nityananda prabhu to stay there and broadcast the message of krishna consciousness the lord also entrusted a similar preaching responsibility to rupa goswami and sanatan goswami nityananda prabhu was requested not to come every year to jagannath puri although seeing lord jagannath greatly benefits everyone does this mean that lord was refusing nityananda prabhu a fortune fortunate opportunity no one who is faithful servant of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu must execute his order even if one has to sacrifice going to jagannath puri to see lord jagannath there in other words it is greater fortune to carry out shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's order than to satisfy one's senses by seeing the lord jagannath this is a level of you know a uh, devotion where seeing the deity is also considered as satisfying the senses right this is the level of vairagya now coming to the answer which mata ji was saying you know no it's not really so why do we still suffer if krishna is our benefactor all powerful he can do away with all our miseries why do we still suffer in bhagavad gita 13th chapter is mentioned purush purusha prakriti stho hi bhungte prakriti jan gunan karanam gun sangvasya sat sat yoni janmasu the living entity in this material world thus follows the ways of life enjoying the three modes of nature this is due to his association with that material nature thus he meets with good and evil amongst 
देर इज स्पीशीज मावे वंशो जीव लोके जीव भूत सनातन मनाषा इंद्रियाणी प्रकृति स्थानी कर्षति ओके लिविंग एंटिटीज इन दिस कंडीशन वर्ल्ड आर माई इंटरनल फ्रेगमेंट पार्ट ड्यू टू कंडीशन लाइफ दे आर स्ट्रगलिंग वेरी हार्ड विद सिक्स सेंसिस विच इंक्लूड द माइंड नाउ वाई दिस श्लोका इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन डिस्कशन ऑफ सख्या मीज दिस डाउट दैट माता जी नो शी नॉट से राइट दैट इज द सोल बेनिफेक्टर ऑफ अर्स ऑलवेज द क्वेश्चन कम्स राइट that if he is our well wisher why are we suffering right draupadi at one point of time says this that you know why do i did i have to suffer if you are there my sakha right now bhagavata says that all living entities in the conditioned world although being krishna's fragmental parts are suffering due to conditional conditioned life and because of their six senses they are struggling now we suffer more in body or in mind in mind right the scenarios that we build we suffer more in mind than in our body that is the reason when when people bring their kids to iskon to you know uh, enroll them for gita classes one guarantee we give to their parents is your kid will never commit suicide even if you send this kid tomorrow to kota who said kota <laughs> okay kota exactly right so if you are sending your kid to kota alone you, you have got a, a huge bairagya right so two kids commit suicide in kota every month on an average right is their body suffering there is somebody beating them up so how uh, while having learned bhagavad gita the krishna's kids will not commit suicide in kota so they told that all this matters is effort and the result is not in their hand the result is not in their hand right and they will know that you know um, krishna is our well wisher and we don't get attached to the <coughs> results they have the firm faith right now the uh, when we look at the stages of bhakti we start with shraddha although shraddha has lot of connotations shraddha comes at a, a very advanced stage also but we start with shraddha then it turns into firm faith right now that shraddha these people have that krishna is my friend right so that is that is where this realization that although krishna is our friend still we are suffering so why we need to remember this shloka is that krishna is our friend we will forget it when things will be unfavorable right then we will forget but that time we should remember these things are unfavorable not because krishna has left us because we are suffering because of our six senses including the mind the prime culprit okay then quality of selflessness is krishna doing all this uh, for his self interest does he want anything he wants our heart because he has some other motive no right but are we selfless no right so uh, extreme example of that, that is in nectar devotion anna bilashita shunyam gyan karmadi anavritam anukulen krishna anushilanam bhakti uttama first class devotion service develop one one must be when first class devotional service develops one must be devoid of all material desires knowledge obtained by monastic philosophy and fruitive action the devotee must constantly serve krishna favorably as krishna desires that is where all anya vilashita become shunya that is where we can call ourselves as selfless friends right loyalty okay nirbandha krishna sambandhe loyalty is where we have sambandh only with krishna any any example of it you can think of from the scriptures where somebody actually wanted this prayed for this kunti maharani right in the prayers of kunti maharani she is saying 
take away my relationships with Pandavas, with Vrishnis, with everybody. Let me be, be be attached only to you, right? That is Nirvandaha Krishna Sambandhe. Then there is a beautiful uh, prayer from Brahma in 10th uh, canto where he is saying, How greatly fortunate are Nand Maharaj, the coward men and all the other inhabitants of Vrij Bhumi. There is no limit to their good fortune because the absolute truth, the source of transcendental bliss, the eternal supreme Brahman has become their friend. Right? So, that is a friendship at a prema level. So, we are at the sadhana bhakti level. Right? But that is the situation right now. Right? Uh, student in first year will not remain in first year only always. Right? Until and unless he keeps on failing life after life. Right? And even in sadhana bhakti, this firm belief, the two thing, two aspects that we uh, looked at from Nectar Devotion in the beginning, two aspects of Sakya, Vishwas and Maitri, right? This Vishwas will take us towards Maitri, right? Even in sadhana bhakti, we will progress because of this Vishwas, the firm faith that we have, right? Now, look at these qualities again. Now, do we see, number one, how Krishna is best and genuine well-wisher and how we can be best and genuine well-wisher to Krishna? Right? How can we share his anxieties? Now that he has stated clearly to us, right, that I am the only gardener. Where will I go distributing fruits? Where is the supply chain? Right? He has clearly told this. Right? So we know if we want to become genuine well-wisher of Krishna, we should bring all souls or try to bring or serve to bring all souls into Krishna consciousness and share his anxiety. I am all alone, he says. Accepting never leaves us. We will never also leave Krishna, this is the one quality that we can develop to summarize non-envious. We have been envious of Krishna, that is we are here. Envy is one quality, one extreme quality, right, that destroys everything else. And it's very, very difficult to do away. It's so much part of our nature, right? Lust, anger, greed, still you can work upon it and control. Envy is such poisonous Thing that you know and it's so much inherent in our nature we become envious of Krishna so how can we become non-envious by becoming non-envious of his devotees not only his advanced devotees but every soul that we come across because at one point of time they are going to become devotees right then selfless Trustworthy. How can we be trustworthy to Krishna? When Krishna can say, I can trust him. When we, when we are true to our word given to Krishna. Right? We are not cheating with him. Right? Then, constant desire to stay in his company. Or the company of his devotees. Enjoying conversation only of him. So, how, are we, how many of you have noticed that since you have started, uh, you know, Shravanam, uh, Kirtanam, um, Vandanam, Archanam also to some extent, right? Since then, the interest in other things has reduced. You don't like to watch TV. You don't like to hear some film song going on on the road. You say, let's move away from here quickly, right? Have, have you noticed such, yeah. such things already? disinterest toward these things which you know at some stage we kind of relished right but now we have now we are enjoying the conversations only about Krishna even amongst the devotees when we are discussing logistical things you know uh, how to manage this who will manage this stall this discussion is you know we don't enjoy so much it sounds like work but when we start talking about Krishna Katha we talk start talking about Krishna's leelas, right? His qualities. That is where we start relishing it. Slowly, you are feeling the difference, right? And then, 
become extremely pleased with the mere mention okay so these are the stages that will come in some time where we will start loving the mere mention of krishna from anybody right and we love to hear every word of him about him right so uh, let's conclude it here uh, i hope with, with the guidance of all the senior devotees and the points given by them uh, to some extent i was able to do justice and uh, discuss on the topic of sakhyam on vishwas and maitri platform what being friend to krishna means also the limits that we have to set right like in deity worship how we have to be careful because there is a particular mood of uh, you know deity worship a level that has to be maintained it's done at almost at the lakshmi narayana level where we have to you know cannot think of sakhyam but there are there are the constraints there are the limits but in our consciousness in our dealings with krishna in our dealings with the devotees in dealing our everyday affairs thinking that krishna is our friend i hope uh you have understood this to some extent the points of sakhyam uh, any questions any realizations that devotees want to share uh, uh 